Schools and universities in the UAE are at the forefront of the COVID-19 response and none more so than the Higher Colleges of Technology, HCT. The college's executive committee formed a task force in late February made up of key department heads to identify challenges, find solutions and assess opportunities brought on by the global pandemic. The first focus of the, uh, of the task force was the safety of the people and by people I mean students, staff, faculty, but we don't stop there because in the campus and in the campuses around the country there are service providers. With the task force created on the 28th of February, HCT ceased all events activity and started to strictly control access to campuses by the 1st of March. It also put in place a health screening programme for students, employees, contractors and other third parties visiting campus. Uh, as a health and safety uh, head, we were evaluating the pandemic as an overall the war. We have taken internal decision to minimize the footprint in the campuses, to lock down all the gathering between uh, the, the students and the faculties. HCT's mobilization went hand in hand with the Ministry of Education's unprecedented step of closing schools and universities and switching to remote learning to enable deep cleaning of all school sites. By the end of March, school closures were extended until September. From the 12th of March, HCT's own deep cleaning plan swung into action. It worked with partners to mobilise over 750 people to sterilise 16 campuses in a little over a week. So we push all the manpower one campus to evaluate how, how the efficient we can do the work. Accordingly, we understand that we can do the job in, in different manner. Later on, we start to do two campuses at the same time. This is always subject to the campus size. If there is a small campuses, we divide the group in two. If there is one big campus, we focus on one campus. Work to clean the campuses has gone hand in hand with an extensive communication program coordinated through the task force. It is important that the communication to be in the right time, concise and clear in a timely manner. The audience, HCT community, whether internal or external, that clear and concise and on time communication should uh, answer their concerns, should respond to their uh, questions in order to ensure that the operation is going on, but people feel safe in carrying out their activities. Communication with stakeholders is constant. For example, the Environment, Health and Safety Departments in HCT have to continually update partners on the latest government regulations. To enable greater knowledge sharing, EHS departments have published pandemic procedures on the staff portal and it's created external partner sessions. In the beginning of the pandemic, when the lockdown started, we have done a lot of training for our contractors, security, cleaning, MEP services, to assure that they are fully aware what's the new procedures has been put in place to assure that we are implementing all safety measures. Clear communication is also vital for HCT's ongoing engagement with its 23,000 students across the country. Our campus directors are responsible for the students in their region. They have staff and team that's trained to reach out, be personal, don't just keep sending emails, get on the phone, arrange socially distanced meetings with the families. So we've engaged the parents, the guardians, and in creating that family community so that they, they feel like they're part of something. And when you're part of something, you feel like you're not being left behind. Community outreach has been vital to support students with the rapid switch to online learning. When you speak about community, we start with the students. So we engage the students virtually back to the campus. We have open a platform every week or two weeks to speak to them, their feedback, suggestions, challenges. We open also that platform to their guardians. Maybe the guardians can see, can see things, the student cannot see it. HCT's strategy to engage with its stakeholders has been complemented by the development of its Digi Campus. The initiative put in place in late February is twofold, providing a social component to remote learning while also providing career development services to third and fourth year students. One of the success of, uh, of HCT can be illustrated by when the government decided that the mode of, of delivery will be online. HCT did not stop at just delivering classrooms, but we looked into what can we provide to students so while during the lockdown, their social needs, their social interaction is in place as well as their employment and career requirements. 
So what we did, we developed what is called DigiCampus. With the pandemic showing little sign of abating, HCT implemented a hybrid learning model in July, which mixes remote learning and face-to-face -face classes. With students and faculty gradually returning to campus, strict social distancing procedures have been put in place to mitigate the risk to students, staff, faculty and service providers. With class sizes reduced to 15 pupils, HCT's hybrid curriculum strikes a balance between virtual and physical teaching. For the time being at least, constant communication and innovation will be the norm for the higher colleges of technology.